Hey, what's up? It's Joshua. In today's video, I'm going to give you the nine best side hustles that you can do to earn extra money from home. So all of these side hustles, you'll be able to do from the comfort of your home with little to no startup capital and really with no resources other than your phone or a computer, which all of you should have because you're watching this video right now. For each of these side hustles, we're going to look at three different things. The first is uh, how much money you can earn from the side hustle. Uh, the next is how exactly you can get started and we'll also kind of briefly talk about what the side hustle is and sort of like what it entails. Side hustles can truly be something that transform your financial life by providing you with extra income that you otherwise wouldn't have. I know for me personally, when I first started building WordPress websites as a side hustle, um, it, it quickly turned into something that became my full-time job and at this point has earned me well over $250,000 all from, you know, working in the comfort of my home. This could happen with any of these side hustles. I definitely believe that if you watch the video through to the end, that you'll find at least one side hustle that really resonates with you. All right, so first on our list is testing websites. I know this sounds fake, but it's a real thing that you can do on the side, which earns pretty decent income. There's a website called usertesting.com and it essentially allows you to get paid for testing websites and mobile apps. It costs nothing to get started and the only thing that you need is a computer and or a cell phone. So the question that I know you're probably asking is, this sounds easy, I can do that, but how much does it actually pay? So usertesting.com will pay you $10 for every 20 minute test that you complete. And you'll also have the opportunity to make even more money if you're chosen to answer additional questions after each test. This essentially means that if you can get three of these tests per hour, that you can earn as much as $30 per hour with this side hustle. That's pretty good. I mean, that's more than what most people make at their day job. But I don't want to mislead you into thinking that you can, you can get three tests per hour consistently. It's not always going to work out that way, but at least you're getting paid to do something very easy and you could quite literally do this from the comfort of your bed. So that's a win. So the question now is how do you get started with doing this side hustle? First, you're going to head over to usertesting.com and then you'll enter your email address and hit apply. You'll get a confirmation email that you'll need to open and then install the user testing browser extension. You'll be able to start taking tests almost immediately and getting paid. Next up on our list at number two, we have teaching classes with Skillshare. So if you're not familiar with Skillshare, it's basically an educational platform that allows you to learn from watching educational videos. You can learn basically anything on Skillshare and each class that you sign up for comes in the form of a video series. Anyone can teach a class on Skillshare. There are absolutely no requirements. Now, in terms of how much money you can make, top teachers can earn well over $100,000 on Skillshare. But on average, uh, first-time teachers can earn as much as $200 within their first month, and top first-time teachers can earn up to $3,000 in their first month on Skillshare. Skillshare pays by the minute. So every minute a premium student spends watching one of your videos, you'll earn roughly six cents. The only thing that you have to do is create videos that are actually helpful and provide value. And the easiest way to do that is to talk about something that you actually care about or that you have experience in. So how do you get started with teaching on Skillshare? It's pretty easy. You're gonna simply head over to Skillshare.com, uh, then scroll down to the very, very bottom of the page where it says become a teacher. From there, you'll click on the button that says start a class. Now, if you don't already have a Skillshare account, uh, you will be prompted to create one. You do not need a subscription to start a class. You shouldn't be paying any money to, to teach a class. You can do it completely free. Once your account is created, uh, head back to where it says start a class. You'll land on a page where you can upload videos, edit class information, and some other things. So at this point, it's really up to you to decide what you want to teach on. Now, some general, you know, advice on this is to try and teach a skill uh, instead of just like a general concept. So, for example, instead of teaching a class on, I don't know, how to list products on Etsy, you would instead teach a class on how to build a successful Etsy shop. Do you see the difference there? That first course, how to list products on Etsy, is just a concept. And it's a concept that can easily be added to a course on how to start a successful Etsy shop 
which is a skill. Overall, just teach something that you actually care about. And also don't forget to take advantage of the tools that Skillshare provides to you, such as their free class on how to build a successful Skillshare class. And most importantly, if this is something that sounds interesting to you, just start. Don't wait, don't procrastinate until the right time because there's never gonna be a right time. You just have to do it. And the best part about this is that you never even have to leave your house to get started. You can do it all from your house. Hey, really quick, if you're finding some value in this video, do me a huge favor and drop a like below. Also remember to subscribe. Thank you so much. Moving on to number three, which is selling your skills or services on Fiverr. Now, if you're not familiar with what Fiverr is, it's basically just like this massive marketplace that you can go on to really buy any type of service. For example, if you needed someone to design a logo for you or do a voiceover or even teach you how to play video games, then you can find it on Fiverr. If you have any type of skill or something that you know how to do, chances are you can probably sell it on Fiverr. So now the most important question which is how much money can you make on Fiverr? Now, this is a really difficult question to answer because it depends on a lot of different things. There's a lot of people who are making a lot of money on Fiverr. On the other hand, there are people who can only really make like a few hundred dollars per month. Ultimately, there's gonna be three things that determine how much you get paid on Fiverr. The first is what you're selling. The second is how good you are at what you're selling. And the third is how much of a demand there is for what you're selling. If you can provide a high quality service in a high demand category on Fiverr, then you can possibly make some life-changing money. Getting started on Fiverr is super easy. So go to fiverr.com and then click on sign up at the very top. Once you create your account, you can click on switch to selling up here at the very top and then click on gigs and then just create a new gig. Moving on to number four, which is renting out your car on Get Around. Get Around is a car sharing service. Uh, you can think of it as like an Airbnb except for cars. Now there are other similar services such as Turo or Zipcar and you can certainly list your car on those services too. But Get Around is the larger of the the three and if you live in a bigger city then you'll likely be able to get more business there i've also heard of people buying new or used cars specifically to rent them out for these types of services it's a pretty good idea because not only are you earning some extra side income but you're also able to pay off those cars purely from the money that you're getting from renting them out so that's definitely worth considering. So that sort of begs the question, how much money can you actually make renting out your car? Well, Get Around claims that the average car owner can make between $6,000 and $10,000 per year or about $800 per month. Turo, another car sharing service, actually has a calculator that you can use, which gives you a rough estimate of how much money you can make based on a few different variables, such as the year make and model and also your location. I think that this could be an amazing side hustle. If you have a car, or maybe if you wanna turn this into a business where you go and buy new or used cars specifically to rent them out, either one works and getting started is very straightforward. All right, number five on our list is teaching English online. Now, I know what you're thinking. I don't have an English degree, Joshua, and so I can't do this side hustle, but that is 100% not true. As long as your native language is English or you're very proficient in English, then you'll be able to do this as a side hustle. So there's websites like VIP Kids, uh, Preply, and Cambly that let you earn an income by teaching English online. As a general rule, the websites that do have requirements, such as VIP Kids, will typically pay a little bit better than the ones that don't have any requirements. All you would do is head over to cambly.com, scroll to the very bottom of the website and click on become a tutor and then just sign up. You'll create your profile, uh, answer a few supplemental questions, and do a connection test to make sure that your internet connection is okay. And really this process is almost the exact same with VIP Kids and Preply. So with Preply, you can click on become a tutor and then just sign up. From there, you'll be able to set your own rate and teach anytime, anywhere, even from the comfort of your home. Number six on our list is selling digital goods on Creative Market. Now. This is something that I've personally been doing for some time now, and I've generated tens of thousands of dollars in passive income doing the side hustle. Creative Market is a marketplace website that you can go to to buy digital goods. You know, when I say digital goods, I mean things like fonts and photos, different types of templates, and really just all sorts of other graphics. Now, I specifically sell website templates on Creative Market, okay? And I earn passive income in my sleep. It's pretty awesome. But there are hundreds of 
of other things that you can do to earn side income on creative market now keep in mind creative market is not the only place that you can sell digital things online there are other websites such as envato or society six redbubble and even etsy uh, lets you sell digital products online so you could theoretically not only list your product on creative market but also on all of these websites and you could do this without even leaving your bed aside from the initial time that it takes for you to design and develop your product um, most of this is passive right like once you create your product and list it on these websites all you have to do is just sit back and earn income it's pretty great so now for the famous question how much money can you make selling digital goods on creative market now once again there's not like a single answer that i could give you because it really depends on what you're selling you know there are people who are earning millions of dollars selling digital products on creative market but on the contrary there are people who post products online that only make a few dollars per month and so it really just depends on how good your product is and if there's actually a demand for it. all right moving on to number seven which is managing social media accounts i think that this side hustle is highly underrated and it has a lot of potential to turn into something pretty significant essentially businesses and even solo entrepreneurs will hire people to manage their social media accounts because they themselves don't have enough time to do it so what exactly does this look like though when you're when you're managing somebody's social media account it basically means that you're creating and distributing content on their social media platform this could be facebook or twitter or instagram linkedin or really just about any social media platform there is one hack that i would recommend for you to come up with these social media post ideas and that's to head over to creativemarket.com and search for social media graphics from there you can either buy these packs or just use the designs as inspiration without having to actually purchase anything additionally you can use websites like unsplash or pexels or pixabay to find free photos to use for your clients posts the way i see it is if you're already using social media why not get paid for doing it uh, getting started is really easy and the pay for doing this is pretty decent for example taking a glance at upwork i can see that people are charging anywhere from 15 dollars an hour to as much as 150 dollars per hour to be a social media manager. Now, obviously you'll wanna charge a competitive rate that you think is fair based on your skill level. And then of course, over time, as you grow, you'll be able to increase your rate as well. So how do you get started? I would highly recommend that you sign up for Upwork.com, which is free, and begin applying for social media management jobs on Upwork. All right, next up on our list is becoming a virtual assistant. So a virtual assistant is somebody who manages the day-to-day -day operations or the administrative operations of a business. And as you probably guessed, uh, being a virtual assistant implies that everything you do is virtual, which means you can do it all from your bed. As a virtual assistant, you may find yourself doing tasks such as scheduling appointments, making travel arrangements, and managing email accounts. Generally speaking, being a virtual assistant is a very easy job that requires very minimum skills, which means that virtually, <laughs> anyone can do it. So how much money can you make as a virtual assistant? So virtual assistants can make anywhere from $10 an hour to as much as $30 per hour, depending on who you're working for. It's a good idea to set your rate a little bit lower at first, and then over time, you can gradually start increasing your rate so that you can start earning more money. Now, if you haven't guessed already, getting started is super easy. All you need to do is create an Upwork account and then begin applying for virtual assistant jobs. And finally, the last side hustle on this list is transcription. Transcription is when you convert audio or video content into text and as you can probably imagine this side hustle is going to require that you be a proficient and fast typer transcribers can really earn anywhere from ten dollars per hour to as much as sixty dollars per hour for example there's plenty of transcribers who are selling their services on sites like fiverr and upwork now if you didn't want to use websites like fiverr and upwork to get transcription work you do have plenty of other options. For example, there's a website called Go Transcript. You can apply to be a freelance transcriber and get paid as much as 60 cents per audio or video minute that you transcribe. This means if you're transcribing an hour long audio clip that you'll get paid 
$36 per hour. Now, GoTranscript says that the average earnings per month sits at around $150, with top monthly earnings exceeding $1,200. So if you're good at typing and you like the idea of being able to make money from home, then being a transcriber should definitely be on your radar and worth considering. All right, so there you have it, the top nine side hustles that you can do to earn extra money from home. Hey, if you found some value in this video, do me a huge favor and drop a like below. And if you are not already subscribed to my channel and you wanna see more content like this, you should definitely subscribe, turn on the bell notifications so that you don't miss out on future videos. And if you're still watching, you're amazing, and I will see you again very soon. Take care.